This week we have some kicks that are making their first appearance on store shelves, some love for the summer, some premiums, some retros. It's just a good week to be sneaker shopping. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is The Heat Check. This week actually kicked off yesterday with some love from Nike Basketball with a special summer pack that included all of their signature athletes. Each pair rocks a gum bottom with various white or gray bases on the upper. Kobe and LeBron get a pair as does KD with the KD9 and Kyrie with the Kyrie 2. You can actually grab the Kyrie 2 and the KD9 over at Finish Line right now for 120 and 150 respectively. Moving to today, we get our first look at the Roshi 2. We all know how popular the original Roshi 1 was and the newest model makes a few improvements on the design and on the comfort front. These are dropping in a ton of colorways today and you can grab them for both men and women for $90. Now if you want to step your Roshi 2 game up just a bit there is a fly knit version of the shoe dropping as well. The colorways on these are crazy and you can grab a pair of those over at finish line for $130. On the premium side of things, the women are getting a little bit of love this week on the Nike Air Pegasus 89. Now these are dropping in a black with the metallic gold hits and in a white with iridescent accents. I think Nike actually calls it the blue tint instead of iridescent. Either way, the ladies can pick these up for 110. If she wants something a little more recent, the Air Max Thea is also getting a premium makeover as well. These are using similar colorways to the Pegasus 89 and will cost you the same 110 over at finish line. For the men, Nike Sportswear lined up what they're calling the Campfire Pack. Just taking one look at these will help you understand why as the Hirachi Air Max 95 and the Air Max 90 have all been updated with dark cayenne and a rust factor with some hits of yellow and other things for you outdoorsy types. They look pretty cool actually. The 95s will cost you 170, the 90 will cost you 125, and the Hirachi will cost you 120. However, Saturday, it looks like Jordan Brand is going to be the big kahuna this weekend with three pairs that you should probably keep on your radar. First up is the Jordan 1 Trainer Low Band. Jordan Brand has been focusing a lot on the training space, and this Trainer 1 Low is one of the main shoes that they've been talking about. Those will cost you $125. This is also the weekend we get the Jordan 31 Band. Now, the shoe is easily one of the best shoes to ball in this year, hands down, and the designers even showed some love for the band story on that outsole. It looks dope. You can grab those for $185 in that black and university red colorway. As for the hottest release of the weekend, well, we have the final entry in the band trio, the Jordan 1. A return of the OG, the shoe that started this whole Jordan craze. This Jordan 1 gives us some great feeling leather over the toe box and heel, and of course that reference to the old school style with that numbering on the inside of the ankle of the shoe. As you all may well know, these are going to be a hot commodity this weekend, but you can definitely look for pairs over at Finish Line for $160. Like I said, something old, something new, and something for those that just like to go camping as well. Be sure to check the links below for all of the shoes that I talked about in the video today, and be sure to hit that like button and share the news. I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, folks, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 